What's up guys, Duck Opinion here, and we're playing some War Z now that the um, non-disclosure agreement is now lifted, we can post footage. So what I'm going to do is, I think I already see a survivor over there. What I want to do is, I'm going to try to go into this main, this new town over here, but there's a mini town before it. And I'll probably get killed, I'll probably die by some character or by some zombie before then. But I want to post you guys some more footage of this game. And uh, let's do this. So I've been trying to get you guys footage, but last time I played it was all nighttime, and I know you guys don't like nighttime because I did my killing spree at nighttime, and you guys were not feeling it. You guys were like, "Nope, this is not working out." But I do have a bat to defend myself. I do have some bandages and painkillers, so I don't know. I'm gonna try to search this area up here, but I'm gonna try to do it quick. I'm gonna try to show you guys how the zombie mechanics have been has been changed. They made it where zombies are a wee bit easier to kind of. To kind of deal with if you know what I mean but we'll see what happens last time I was in this spot someone showed up with a gun and they really they really screwed me over so well here I want to show you one of the zombie fixes because I really do feel like I might be able to get some food through here I just really don't want a zombie to alert someone that could be here that I'm here my character is pretty hungry and thirsty though so I just drank some water and she feels better. Now this this might just be a little bit laggier than normal just because um shit he's after me just because I'm I'm rendering something at the same time. Now the catch to these zombies is they can't get you in a car, but they can still move around, but you can still hit them. So what's here? Granola bar? My character is pretty hungry. So as you see, you can jump on the car and you can still hit the zombies. Now in the earlier alpha stages, the zombies wouldn't die. You could sit here all day and hit them and they wouldn't die. But now in this new stages, you can kill them, although I don't think the bat is the best weapon. So let's see how many hits it really does take with a bat. It seems to take infinite hits with a bat. I know with a flashlight though, you can take them out pretty quick. See, this is this is something though. Like they fixed it, as you see, they did fix it, so you can't actually kill them. But I don't know about I don't know about you guys, but I really don't think it should take that many hits to kill a zombie with a bat. Like you know, in real life, if you're strong enough and you just win at a zombie as hard as you can with a bat, one hit to the skull, it would like decapitate his fucking neck. It'll at least shatter his neck and everything inside his brain. And you wouldn't be able to, you know, do anything really. The zombie would be screwed. So they need to kind of, they really need to fix it where, you know, killing zombies is a little bit easier. And also, do you notice how there's a gun on my character's leg, but my character doesn't have a gun? It's another thing that just kind of throws me off. They need to kind of fix in the game. But it is an alpha. And the really cool thing about this game is the people that make it, they're really going out of their way to listen to the community and to really get the community to give their advice. Now hammers are probably one of the best like beginning weapons. It's a lot better than a bat. Like hammers can really take out like enemies pretty good, but they can also take down players extremely well. So I'm going to try to go in this place on the left. I'm going to try to see if there's anyone in here. And if there isn't, I'm going to I'm going to scavenge it, but if there is, I might have to kill them. Because I know I seem like an asshole, but every single time that I that I run into a player, they shoot me dead. They don't give me no shot whatsoever. So it's really, it's really kill kill or be killed. It really, really is. So I just want to make a really good look around here, make sure there's not a zombie just chilling in here. Because the one thing they always run into is I always go into a building and there'll be like a zombie, just like hi, I'm a zombie. I'm just I'm right here. What's up? So there's a lot of good stuff in here. I don't want to spend all day though in here getting it. Antibiotics are so good. Those antibiotics, they're like probably the best thing in the game. I don't have enough room for them, but drop all this shit. Drop that. Alright, change book bags to the medium one. Drop the small bat. No, no, drop the small book bag. Drop the chem. Eat the granola bar because you're hungry. Alright, now, 
Grab the bad antibiotics. They're probably the most important thing. Grab another granola bar. I don't really care about the Kim Whites. There's that zombie. So I want to play this safe. And I want to go jump on this car. And I know it'll attract more zombies. But in but I kind of want to kill zombies, to be honest. Because when you kill zombies, they drop money that you can spend in uh, the shop. And you can get like starting weapons and whatnot. So I can sit here and just well at them with a hammer. And I can pretty much take care of these zombies in within a few minutes. And as you see, already one of them already dropped cash. So we're definitely looking for that cash. And it's definitely well worth it. See how that zombie just like wandered into the store? I wish that they couldn't do that. I wish that they didn't have the option to be like, yeah, we're going to just wander into the store. So it's not the coolest option in my opinion. So there's a lot of money down here. So I'm be sure to get all the money. Now, I do want to leave here soon, but there is still that zombie in here, so I'm going to have to really sneak around. Now, I need food. I know I have that granola bar, and um, I want to get some more food from in here. But um, there's this inventory that I think that you can put stuff that you capture in, and then when you put the stuff you captured in this inventory, I'm pretty sure that you're able to access this inventory later on in the game. So say I have these bandages and say I have like some flashlights, I think that I can actually put this in my global inventory. And when I do that, I'll actually have it for later. So a lot of bandages, but not a lot of food. A lot of flares, a lot of cans of soda, a lot of bandages though. A lot of antibiotics. Antibiotics is something you really, really, really want to. <clears throat> Again, like I said earlier, those antibiotics... They're almost key. I know that zombie's over there. I'm still checking around. I don't want to make too much noise in here. I don't see anything on these shelves. It's another can of Coke. This, I see like slugs and bullets. But an actual gun is kind of not available. Alright, so what I want to do is I want to get on my knees. I'm going to go to my inventory. I want to figure some things out. Okay, so... Um, change book bag. You know what I want to know? I want to know how you add stuff to your global inventory is what I want to know. There's this thing called like a global inventory. And I'm not sure how to use it, but I know that you can somehow put items in the game in that inventory. And then you, when you die, you can get some of those items back from that inventory. But the thing about it is I'm not sure how to do that. So, this game is pretty new. I will learn how to do that eventually, but for now, I don't know. So, we're kind of screwed. So, I want to put the food here and eat the food. It really didn't help that much at all. So, did I just see somebody, or is that a zombie? Pretty sure it was a zombie. All right. It was, and that zombie's after me, so let's run it a little bit. Attract a few more zombies. And jump on this car and do what we do. We beat the hell out of zombies on top of cars. Nice, attracted a good amount of them. Now, one thing that is missing is it had, like, a zombie killer. How many zombies you killed, and, like, how many... How many bandits you killed on the side, but that's not there. I don't know if that was just removed or what, but it's not there anymore. And that's pretty annoying. So I do want to start heading to that big city. That is one of my goals. But we are going to end this video soon. And then the second part, if I don't get sniped right away, I want to try to end up in that big city and just get like a really good look at the big city. Oh, the fact they didn't drop shit pisses me off. So I'm actually, I'm going to run over here to attract more zombies just so I can get some more kills and more points. Because no, I have a hammer and I can just get on this car. And the zombies, pretty much, they should be alright. I am still looking for some food. This is, a, is that a dead person over there? Like an actual body? Or a zombie? I don't know, but I have a good amount of zombies here. We're just going to like crawl them out. Now I do hope eventually that it's easier to kill zombies. And I do hope it's going to be better than me just standing on top of a car pounding them like this. But at least it's something. If that's one way to put it. At least it's something. At least this way. Oh my god, he got up here. Hey. Hey. Hey now, 
They're sometimes buggy, as you see. I had to pop some painkillers. I got so many of them though, I should be alright. Don't y'all be glitching trying to come up here. You guys aren't allowed up here. Little bastards. You just gotta be careful. That's the thing about this game though. Like, the zombies are buggy. And I glad, I'm glad we have this advantage to the zombies. Because of the fact that seriously, if you get hit like five or six times by like one zombie. Or if they double swipe you each. Like, these zombies, they can really like take you out. I was in a good spot. I don't know why I moved. They can really take you out. But I seem to have like the whole entire... Seem to have like the whole entire city on me right now. And they like to switch back and forth spots. <laughs> so if I can take all these guys out, which I've seemingly seen doing, I'll go ahead and end this video here on top of this car. We'll check out the place behind me and we'll head into that new big city. Although I have a feeling I'm going to die soon. I don't think I'm ever going to get too far in this game, but let's pick up our money. $78, $72. Money, and one of them had some juice. So that's cool. We just took out a fuckload of zombies. So let me get into like a little bit more safer area. Alright, bag of chips. Beautiful. Water, good. My girl's still like really hungry. More painkillers to replace the ones I had. Alright, you guys. So in the next episode, we're going to try... If we don't get killed, which we probably will be... We're going to try really hard to head into the top area, this new little area up here. And we're going to hopefully find a, a better weapon than this hammer. Like a nice little pistol would be nice. But uh, yeah, we have a lot of bandages. We have a lot of stuff to heal ourselves with. So unless, unless someone really comes by and just takes us out out of nowhere, I think we're going to be able to handle this. And as you guys see, I'm actually able to... I'm actually able to eat and hold a lot more stuff now that I have this bigger book bag. So there, I got my food up. My girl's feeling pretty good. Let's get on my knees. And uh, that's it for this video. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Hopefully we can survive and at least get a little look at the good city before someone kills us and snipes us in the head. Talk to you guys later.